just wanna be the greatest. Yeah. And I just wanna be famous. Hello everybody, this is Bram here, and today I have another command block tutorial for you, and I'm going over simple power-ups. Before I get started with this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, guys, let's get into this short video. Okay, so the way this works is I have my two power-ups in here, and I'm going to go to survival mode real quick. So whenever I throw these, the first one I'm going to do is jump boost, so whenever I throw it, I get jump boost like um, five for five seconds so it's pretty cool and now i'm gonna take some damage no i'm not and this next one this pickaxe is a normal pickaxe it breaks at normal speed you see and then as soon as i throw this for five seconds i'm gonna get haste 10 so i'm gonna be able to destroy and then as soon as it goes away it's normal so yeah that's what the gist of what a power up would be to this um what i'm talking about so yeah it's it's a really cool thing and yeah, so the way you make it, and yes, I'm going fast, I'm sorry, but the way you make it is you could choose any item you want here and then rename it to whatever I did haste, and it doesn't matter what item as long as the name is there, see, I get the effect still. So, yeah, basically what you want to do is get any item you want, rename it, and then keep in mind what that name is. And then you're going to want to come over here and go to this repeating command block and do repeat unconditional always active and then do execute at E type equals item name equals haste tilde 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 effect at P with the radius of three haste five seconds to nine power well which is ten and then true. So basically what it's doing is it's looking for an item and then it's giving the effect to the closest player of that item within three blocks. Or the, it's giving the effect to the closest player within three blocks of that item. There it is. And then after that has gone off and it give the effect, it has given the effect, we do the command block going into a chain conditional always active. And it goes kill at E type equals item name equals haste. So it kills the item. So that way whenever you throw it, it gives the item and then it kills it. So that way it can't be reused multiple times. And then that's going to be that. And the, basically, the way that you make another one of these is you go into here, you do the same thing, all you do is change the name. And you always want type equals item or it's going to mess it up. So you just change the name. The name is the only thing different and the effect. The effect and the power. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this short, simple command block tutorial. Um, I know it's short and simple, it's well, well known, but I just wanted to add it to my command block playlist. But anyways, guys, um, stay tuned for the first episode of the SMP, or the Bramcraft SMP. That is coming really soon, and this is um, coming out two days after the, um, the big live stream, so episode zero. Um, and I'm recording this before that, so I don't know how that's going, but anyways, I hope you guys um, are excited for that series, because I know I am. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, and if you really loved it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, guys, this has been Braham, and I'm out! Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Yeah Ready to go, man, lock and load That's right I swear to God that I could drop you, bro Yeah Got a shot and I ain't